Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bui and I'm a little person and I stay in South Africa. So today's video, it's all about you guys getting to know who I am before you can journey along with me in my YouTube channel journey. Quick disclaimer though, I'm gonna keep on looking down because I have my notes here with me. All right, awesome. Uh, we obviously is a little person that was born with a disease called osteogenesis imperfecta. I know it's a sentence, right? It was a sentence for me too, but then I had to get used to it. But then, yeah, whatever. So, um, what osteogenesis imperfecta is, it's basically um, a disease that um, you are born with. You, firstly, you're born with fragile bones, and then it causes you to fracture quite a lot. And then um, it also affects your growth. So you can't grow any taller. Well, I know people that are taller than me, but they do have it but then they are not your average tall so uh, yeah I was born with that and what it did for me or what it did to me rather I fractured quite a lot especially during my my primary years I fractured quite a lot and as a result I now have lifetime scars or yeah, lifetime scars, like I have a, a skewed arm, I have a skewed leg, and I also have a, a skewed back due to that. But um, we thank the Lord that um, it wasn't as severe because uh, it can actually get quite severe to a point where you can be wheelchair bound. So luckily I was not wheelchair bound. So yeah, that is my story. And as to what type of dwarfism that is, I don't know because apparently there's quite um, a lot of kinds of dwarfism, but I have never really got into that or got interested in that because I already had a lot going on in my life. I couldn't understand why I was fracturing so much but yeah but if you guys let me know on the comments down below if you would want me to find out what kind of dwarfism I have ne? okay cool uh, well growing up apart from fracturing a lot what I got which I still have because my challenges apparently for me I, I'm thinking or they're gonna be forever because what happened when I was younger, it's still happening even now. So um, the first challenge that I have, I still have, it's that I'm stared at. Like everywhere I go, people are staring at me and others would be staring in a way of like, you can see that they are pitying you or feeling sorry for you and others it's the silly ones they want to laugh at you they actually do laugh at you so yeah that's challenge number one and I'm also um, well this does not happen quite a lot anymore but then I was made fun of growing up by the kids kids can be very vicious okay I was made fun of by kids growing up but then that was like in in primary in high school luckily the school where I went as much as they were staring at me but then they never made fun of me so they they got used to me and right now well there isn't much people that are making fun of me but then you still do get those even older ones to my surprise yeah, they are making fun of me. I don't know what is it, what satisfaction they're getting out of that. But only God knows. And then my third point is, this one is, I feel strongly about it. And I think I will make a video 
specifically about this one. I feel undermined a lot. I feel undermined a lot because of how I look or how I am. And this is now in a form, okay, when I was growing up, I didn't know what undermining was. I was a kid myself, okay? So um, now I feel undermined because I'm older, obviously, and I am working full time. Uh, I do see a lot of people undermining me everywhere. They think like, I'm, I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't. Well, some of the things, yes, I agree with them. Like I can't reach at the top. Like even when I go to grocery shopping alone, because yes, I do go grocery shopping alone. I would ask somebody who's kind enough to reach for me, reach the stuff for me. So, but then that's sweet. Well, I don't even have a choice. I have to ask them. But um, feeling undermined in a way of thinking that I can't do it just because I'm short. I can't do this because people feel like I'm a kid. This and that. Yeah, that one, it, I, it, it still bothers me even today. But then that will be, a, let me know on the comment section down below if you would want me to do a video about what do I mean when I say I feel undermined a lot because yes I do and then um, this one is actually an, a, a nice comment or a nice part a part I never thought it would happen to me since I've been done all these things all my life I thought um, when, when you get when you get to your teens, right? You start uh, you're a girl, how about home? And then there's boys. You also admire them, but then again, there would be that thing at the back of my mind that would click, like, oh snap, I am short, so he probably won't like me, or he would think that I'm a kid, or whatever. But to my surprise, I never experienced that because I was genuinely loved, okay? Yes, I was genuinely loved. And I think when I got to this point in my life, that day I was like, oh, so it means I'm human as well. Because, yeah, it's those kids, they really made my life a living hell. They really did. And all the people, yeah. But then when I got to this point in my life, the dating part, I don't want to lie, I never felt any of that. In fact, I felt like I am very, very tall, okay? I'm a model. I felt like that because that's how I was made to feel like. Um, so yeah, and that, that, that's, that's the point of this video. I wanted to, for you to see how it's, it's sometimes difficult to be a short person or a person that's just different from other people. It, it's very hard. Adjusting, it's very hard. And people out here, they're not making it easy for us to adjust. It's like we are an alien. We just came out of the space. But yeah, we continue to journey on because yeah, I, I, I'm a person that does not believe in, 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 in giving up. No, I don't give up. I don't give up. In fact, instead of giving up, I feel more motivated. The more you do something negative to me, I feel more motivated to do more. Because I know for a fact that there's a whole lot of things I can do that you can't. Okay? Yeah, let's just put that one out there. There's a lot of things that I can do that you cannot do. And I know for a fact that there are people that wish to be me. And that one is very surprising. Who wants to be short? Hmm. But trust me, there are people who want to be like me, who want to be me. So that's, a, that's, that's why I want to open this, this world to them that yes, you can be me. You won't shrink, but I also have a life of my own and mine, it, it might be quite different from yours, but it's still interesting for me. Well, other people I know, they find it interesting too. Yeah. So, yeah, I do, I do love myself.
quite a lot and I had to when you are a differently abled person because I don't like this word that people are using saying people who are differently abled they are disabled this is disabled it's because like I can drop it down here and then it won't even try to get up this is a disabled thing but a person who is not like you they are not disabled they are differently abled because there are things that they can do it's just that they're doing it differently so they are differently abled not disabled let's just stop saying people are disabled i that's another thing i i feel strongly about that is actually um one of the reasons people that are differently abled never feel like um, they are worth it in life. It's because you guys have already given them hundred and million names and they are convinced that, okay, I'm like this, then it means I cannot do more. You can, you can. It's just that you have to snap out of it. You're not disabled. You're just differently abled. So I will definitely do a video about that because I, I feel strongly about that. And um, luckily for me, I have a very supportive family. They supported me from, I was, from, when, from when I was a baby until now. And I have a wonderful set of friends. They are crazy, right? But they, they are wonderful because they have accepted me for who and what I am. They never wanted me to change myself. Well, I actually, I have rubbed on them because they're now acting like me it's just that they're tall but well they're all acting like me because and i never had that growing up so having friends like that right now that actually see me as a human being not some toy or something that should be made fun of it's very refreshing it's very refreshing and actually one of the my best friends once said to me i asked her one day i was just curious because i wanted to 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 to, to understand how do people feel about me and i wanted her well she's the most blunt person i know she's so blunt and then i asked her when you are with me or when you see me what do you see or how do you feel because the fact that you are walking with me people are also staring at you so I want to know, how do you feel being stared at? Because that's me on a daily basis. And then she was like, well, I, I don't even feel that you are short. I don't even feel that you are short even when we are walking. Because you can listen to me, we can have a conversation. So the fact that I'm tall and then you are short, I, I have really blocked it out of my mind because I was attracted by who you are as a person, not how tall or how short you are. So, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. And that's very refreshing to hear. So, and, and, and then she also told me that um, just because we are average or perceived as normal or tall, does not mean we also don't have our own abnormalities. And then I was like, what do you mean? And then she said, for instance, I have the most terrible eyesight. I have the most terrible eyesight. You have a sharp eyesight. And secondly, um, she has problems with her teeth as well. And I don't have problems with my teeth. So those are the little things that she was making an um, example of that you may be the way you are, it's only your height maybe, but then we also get average people that actually suffer from certain things that people are sick out here, okay? And then you, you may be little, but you are one of the healthiest little people I know because you don't have all these things average people have. So, and I was like, oh, wow, okay. So I was really, I was really touched by that and also motivated by that, that at least 
I have to block out all the, the negative energy I was receiving since I was little. I had to block it out of my head because it wasn't doing me any good. It was actually destroying me because um, I'm an introvert. So when you are an introvert, there's a whole lot of things that you are thinking about when you, people aren't around. But luckily, I have never tried or thought about suicide. I, I love myself too much. I won't do that. I won't do that, but uh, um, I, 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 always, I had a problem of affirmation. They didn't make it easy for me. They didn't make it easy for me growing up. So I always wanted to find out from people, what do you think about this, about me? What do you think about this, about me? Until I was like, hi hey man, I can't keep doing this. Like I, I, I have to, I, I have to tell myself these things. I don't need another person to be telling me about these things. I already know that I have potential, but then I had to seek that from somewhere because that's how I was made to believe that I have to ask people how they're thinking or how they feel because that's how I was made to feel my entire life. So the minute I snapped out of that, then I became this person that everybody, I'm a magnet now, okay? Everybody just wants to be around me. Everybody just wants to be around me. And it's very funny because it's a world that I never had growing up. It's a world that I never had. And I was told that I'm, I have a funny personality as well. I don't think so. It's just that I, I talk a lot. Too much, too much, too much. But I don't think I'm funny. But then if they think that I'm funny, well, I'll take that compliment as well. Okay? I'll take that compliment as well. So, yeah. In short, that's what I, I wanted to... That's how I wanted to introduce myself to you guys. So that moving forward, you can know what to expect from me. I'm quite a deep person. That's, that's one thing people don't know about me. So they'll get to know more about me and that through this YouTube channel because I'm a very, very deep person. I talk about deep stuff. It's just that when I'm around people, I'm the most bubbliest, okay? Like, I lighten up the room. You can ask them. I lighten up the room and I'm the life of the party, of course. I am the life of the party, but then... That is me introducing myself to them. What they don't know about me and deep stuff about me, they'll, they'll get to see that through this YouTube channel because that's where I'm going to be pouring myself out. I'm going to be pouring myself out and I hope nobody cries because I've done a lot of that growing up alone though. Didn't want anybody to see that. I had big eyes. Ne? So imagine when I cry, they get this big and it's just a mess it's just a mess so i don't want people that are going to be pitying me crying cry uli one not thing because i don't know how to handle a crying person because i hardly ever cry in front of people uh, I, I don't know if it's that a strength or it's a weakness but then do let me know what that is but then yeah in short, that, that's who I am. This is we, and yes, short people do exist in South Africa as well. I know you guys have seen short people um, on reality shows like Little Women of Atlanta, Little Women of LA, Little Women of this. Well, I won't, I'm not promising a reality show, but what I'm promising though is a whole lot of my reality a whole lot of my reality because yes we do exist we do exist it's just that like i said most of us uh, we never had it easy in life we were always judged and we were always made to fear a whole lot of things so they are in their cocoon cocoons yes. is it a cocoon yes they are in their cocoons right now okay i was as well for the longest time I was meant to start this YouTube channel 2018, but I have no idea what was happening or why I didn't start it then. But then since also I'm a very spiritual person, 
I believe that that wasn't the time. In 2018, it wasn't the time. I was probably going to mess up. I was probably going to mess up. But right now, it is it is the time. It, it's the time. And then, you guys, I'm, 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 I'm promising you a whole lot of fun as well. I won't be always deep. And I will have guests. And then you will see me and my friends, what we get up to. Yeah, but then it's time for this butterfly that was in the cocoon for the longest time to fly. And now I'm flying and you better not try to stop me because you won't be able to catch me anyway. You know, you know what I mean? You get my drift, right? <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much again, guys, for um, watching my YouTube channel. And I'm really hoping that we will engage more down below on the comments. Do you ask me anything? Just please be kind. I've, I've had it rough growing up. I cannot handle another roughness right now. Please be kind. I will engage. I, mean, I, I do engage a lot. So I will engage with you guys. And um, please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much and don't forget the aim is never to take away from anything but for you to take away something from everything i said